My name is Shaquem Compare. I'm the co-owner of Flavor Unit Entertainment. Um, and we're here at Violator's offices. We're actually at the competition's offices now, but it's all good. I love Mona and Chris. Flavor Unit is a, started out as a management company. It was started by like Queen Latifah and me in 1989. And we've managed everyone from OutKast to LL Cool J, uh, Naughty by Nature, Black Sheep, Monica, Faith Evans, the list goes on and on, SWV. And currently, you know, we're more of a multimedia company. We work on, uh, we produce movies like Beauty Shop, uh, Bringing Down the House, uh, The Cookout, um, you know, and we're also involved with several TV projects. We produce the, uh, the Vibe Awards. Uh, we have a couple of other shows in development, so that's what we're doing. And we still manage people like Terrence Howard and Big Boy from Outkast. I think that, you know, the music was getting a little crowded, you know. Um, I, th uh, I mean, one of the things, our, our model right now is basically like, you know, the, 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 the urban film or the independent small budget film is where rap was 20 years ago. You know, Hollywood is not paying attention to it. You know, we knew about Terrence Howard since, since, since Sunset Park where Hollywood now, 15 years later, is discovering who Terrence Howard is. Um, so that's, that's basically our, why we've gotten into films, which, you know, which is basically to take the talent now that's been around in hip hop, you know, not just rapping, but just the culture period, and kind of make it trans transcend Hollywood and just do much bigger and better things with the brands. No, no, I think music is a part of it. You know, if, like we said, we manage Terrence Howard and we manage Big Boy. If Terrence has a movie like Idlewild, Big Boy is on the soundtrack as well, you know, as well as, um, you know, acting in the film. You know, Latifah can act in her own movies and, you know, and do the soundtrack as well. So it's basically, it's all relative at the end of the day. You know, um, music, you know, TV, film. I mean, that's, that's, you know, to marry all three, mm -hmm. you know. Is packaging a big part of what you do? Oh, totally, totally. You know, that's, that's you know, again, it's, you know, to sit as a music manager, it's only one income stream, you know, but to be able to package, you know, somebody that can make the, mu the, the soundtrack, act and produce, you know, a several income stream, you know, and have equity in what you create. Well, I think for rappers, most rappers are actors anyway, <laughs> you know, so it's a lot easier than an actor trying to sing, you know. Um, I don't know, I think, I think, I think you know when you when you start. I think what what happens is most artists start make start through videos. Once they get behind you know in front of that camera um, making videos, then all of a sudden they catch the acting bug. And by the time you make your twentieth or thirtieth video, you want to be an actor because you you know because you've kind of been around you know film. Even though it's a four minute film, it takes a couple of days to film, and you know and people kind of get used to it. I think I think most most rappers you know today two thousand five. Are really you know great storytellers, and they act out the stories that they tell. I think mo a lot of them you know have seen it through rappers before them or through people that you know from their neighborhood, and they, and they've learned how to tell the story through you know through through acting. I mean, my advice is to be persistent. You know, my thing is you know I remember the way I got started in this business was almost on a dare. We managed uh, an artist named Apache who had this big record, Gangsta Bitch, you know, a couple of years ago, and he dared me. Like he had a song, he had a, a part in a rap that says the amateur manager, and that totally motivated me. You know, it was like he was telling me that I couldn't do it, and and, and so you know, a lot of people are going to tell you that you can't, and you got to be persistent. And I really believe that persistence overcome resistance. You know, and and if you just stay persistent, you'll you know eventually your turn will come. Um, musicians, I think, is the same thing. I think, you know, you know, what uh, you could give someone a demo. This guy may not like it, but the next person may get into it. So, you know, just just be persistent and, you know, and, and, and have a game plan together when you approach somebody that you think can help. Don't just feel like that person owes you. Explain to that person how you could change their lives as well. It's a, it's a two-way street.